back. We're back, everybody. Hang on one second. Let me talk this now. Oh. There. That fine. We look a bit. We're at a jaunty angle. <laughs> We're at a very jaunty angle. Can I sort that out? That's fine. We'll deal with that. Well then. Hello, everybody. We're only about three in, at three weeks and an hour late. Um, welcome to the stream, everybody. Um, okay, let's just get this out of the way first out of the gate. Um, I need to make an apology. Um, apologies, firstly, for um, missing the last couple of weeks of streams. Um, that's entirely on me um, due to minor emergencies. And I actually got poorly. That's an excuse I can use. I'm going to use that one. Um, and then we were slightly late today. I say slightly, we're an hour late, which is quite, quite a long time. Um, because of uh, uh, a scheduling conflict. But um, it's fine, we're all here now, and we can carry on. Um, God, I look gaunt. This, this, this is lighting isn't working for me, everybody. I need better light. Oh, that's better. There we go. That's more fun, isn't it? Uh, someone that says better late than never. Better late than even late. <laughs> Sorry, I completely misread that. You're right. Better late than even later. Anyway. Sorry about that. Okay, fine, we're here. It's all good, we're high, we're fine, we're happy, we're, um, we're having a great time, and uh, I've not done this in a long time, so I need to think about things that I need to say. Um, why is that? One second, everyone. That one? Do I just mute that? Fine, right. I think we're all good. If everyone can hear, can everyone hear me okay? Can everyone see me okay? Um, let me know in the chat. Awesome. Uh, let me catch up on some some messages. Um, everyone just saying hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who have we got? We have Pringle said hello. Anime Barada said hello. Um, Mythic Flame said it's midnight. Is it midnight where you are? Blimey. Quay says hello. Um, altered Plum EU on Twitch asked, uh, "Hello, sorry for bothering you. I want to offer promotion." Oh, okay, fine then. That's um, that's a pro. That's a that's a plug. Let's move on. Let's get into some terror tech, shall we? So let's before we get into anything, let's talk about some news. What news have we got? What news have we got? No major news from the terror tech side of things. You may have seen, uh, however, that <coughs> the um, Terratech Worlds is uh, is due to release into early access on Friday, which is very exciting. The office, the studio is, is uh, what's the word? A bus? No, the word, no, that's not the word at all. It's, it's very busy. It's very hectic. It's very exciting. There's a buzz. That's the word, a buzz. That's what I'm looking for um, in the office. Um, because it's that fun. We're at that kind of exciting, kind of nervous sort of oh, part of development of Terra Tech Worlds where finally people are going to start, everyone's going to be able to start getting their hands on it and playing it and giving us feedback. And it's very, very exciting. But obviously with that comes um, just a lot of work. There's a lot of stuff going on. So that's not to make too many excuses, but that's partly why today was we were a bit late streaming just because there's uh, there was other stuff happening which is fine um but anyway apart from that that's the main bit of news that we've got stereotech is being stereotech worlds is launching on friday very excited for that uh in terms of stereotech one stereotech news not a huge amount to share really um we're working on the next update so the next pc update is going to include loads more space drunkers blocks i uh, accidentally leaked some of those blocks on the Terratech Blockpedia website a couple of weeks ago. Um, 
that has now been fixed. Um, but there's going to be loads more cool, cool blocks there. Um, I'll share more of those later this week. Um, we'll have some more details on what exactly these new blocks are going to be looking like, what they're going to be doing, all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for, for some of that coming up soon. Then we have, what else have we got? Um, that's it, the console update. So the other reason that you think you might think that things are a bit quiet on the Terra Tech front is because we're the team are diligently working on the next console update. Now you may ask, hey Matt, we've just had a console update. Why are we getting another one? Um, and to you, I would say, hello. And also it's because we need to bring the console up to parity with PC. That's the main thing. Um, so I hope that answers that question. Not that anyone really ask, ask it, but I'm, I'm not gonna answer it anyway. Um, So yeah, pretty much brings everybody up to speed. So with that, let's get into some tarot tech. Let me load in. Oh, wait, that's not going to do anything because the game isn't running yet. Let's do that again. I'll try again. I'll try again. Oh, this is not working. Is it loading? It is loading. Fine. Um, Let's do that. I'm going to just squeeze this over here. Beautiful. Okay, fine. Um, you look tired. Do I? I, f I kind of feel tired. I'll be honest. Um, I guess I'm the reason I was off last week. The reason we didn't stream last week was because I was um, recovering from a, a nasty bout of man flu. I don't know if, if people have that where they're where you're from, but um, where I'm from, it's it can potentially be lethal. So, uh, you know, I'm still recovering from that. You can probably hear on my voice. I'm probably still a bit tired. Uh, also, I'm obviously joking. Um, I'm fine. I promise I am okay. So let's get into this. So today we're going to be streaming. We're going to be taking a look at um, some of... Oh, thank you. Uh, I, don't, I can't quite pronounce that. Viet. Viet Dang? I'm not sure if that's offensive or not. Um, but thank you. No, I am fine. I, I appreciate the uh, the concern. So um, One Goofy Idiot says, Do you have a streaming schedule or just stream? We do have a stream schedule. We'll try and stream every Wednesday at 4pm UK time. Um, however, obviously this week and the last couple of weeks have not been a good example of that because of um, extenuating circumstances. But uh, we're back. Uh, but yeah, 4pm UK time. We'll usually try and stream, um, stream those times. Um, and the schedule depends on what the content that we stream kind of varies. One week we might stream a... Um, you know, a community core where we take a look at some of the awesome texts that people have been making, or we may do something a bit different, like with this stream where we kind of rank, where we're going to be ranking um, weapons. Um, this is a fun idea that I, I'm quite enjoying doing this. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll try and stream. We'll try to do that. Uh, we may even do like a mod review where I sit down and play around with some, um, some mods from the Steam Workshop. Yeah, kind of fun stuff like that. Um, so we wouldn't say, yeah, the schedule would always, the schedule in, for the, for, for the, in the literal sense is every Wednesday at 4 p.m. But um, in terms of what we stream, that's kind of, I'll change pretty much on a weekly basis. Um, will we be seeing the Fupa tier list? Somnolence, good shout. So um, shout out to Fupa, her, um, interesting name. I'm not quite sure I'm allowed to say that on a family friendly stream, but um, they made a wicked tier list. Um, that you can add to um i found it i just literally scrolling through the scene workshop and i found a tier list that is awesome um that they've made but i haven't had a chance to manually change them over because it would mean well i'm gonna change them over. yeah effectively change them over um so no so almost, uh, we will be using it eventually but um i'm gonna rank them on my um more basic tier list system that we've that we've uh, that we've made and then uh, when i get a chance i'll i'll swap them over and we can because it's basically it's bigger better <coughs> excuse me um right let's get into it i'm, I'm enough de dilly dally and we're already um dragging on so let's get into this so we're gonna be so as you can see sorry i should have talked about what i was doing um we've already ranked the gso the geocorp the venture and the hawkeye weapons uh to absolutely nobody's surprise hawkeye had quite a lot of high ranking weapons in their in their inventory um because hawkeye being the Kind of the weaponry kind of military corp um that kind of makes sense that kind of tracks uh, i'm just gonna make myself a bit bigger here there we go and squeeze that in a little bit so i can do this because people would like to see 
me, or at least I would. Um, so yeah, so we've done the three previous four corporations. So today we're going to be taking a look at Better Future. So not that, not that many weapons to get through, but um, let me know what you think in chat. Chat if you're watching or if you're watching in chat and you'd like to offer an opinion or um, some input, throw your ideas out. I want to hear your ideas because uh, I can't, I'm not doing this on my own. This is a, uh, a community-driven uh, activity. I think I can say that. Um, so yeah, so let's just uh, get stuck into it. So the Better Future Flame Thrower, grade two. Does that mean you don't get any weapons? Oh, you do, you do, fine. Ignore me. I thought weapons, I always thought, this is something I've learned today. I always thought weapons were rank, were sorted by their rank. And so it, when it starts at rank grade two, I assumed that, that was, um, that's where it started. But no, I am wrong. Um, the flamethrower. Flamethrowers, historically, or um, are notoriously pretty meh, in my opinion. Yeah, chip make chips kind of agreeing with me. Flamethrowers are pretty bad in general. That's kind of what I'm feeling. I'll be honest. Um, they're slow. They don't do a huge amount of damage straight off the bat. Not in the same way that your missiles do. Um, now, they do serve a purpose. I'm trying to think what that purpose would be. Um, I think they, they're good at lighting a fire. I, I don't know. I need, I need uh, someone help me out. Um... Yeah, Tweak said you need to be very close. Yeah, so that's the one of the biggest drawbacks. Kind of like shotguns. I think that's kind of what I'm kind of leaning into a little bit here. Flamethrowers are a bit too similar to, to, to shotguns. In that they, they're only really useful up close. And if they're that close, then there are other things that do that job. Um, although they've got a slightly bit better range than, say, your plasma cutters. Um, they're effective against rubber, so they're strong against wheels. Is that true, Chip? Or have you... That sounds made up. Um, so I don't know if, well, I mean, yeah, I suppose the damage type is fire. They are volatile. Do they, are they weak against? So let's just check. I'm just going to check this quickly. Let's just check rubber wheels. Damage type rubber. Does that mean rubber? I could probably look. I I have a, there's a, a chart, a table of, of what damage types are strong against what damage, damageable type. Those are big words. Uh, anyway. Um, so I've got a feeling there, yeah, but maybe you're right then. Maybe flamethrowers do, do 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 more damage against wheels. Maybe they they maybe that bumps them up. If if they were if they were just standard and they didn't have the special specialist fire type, I would put flamethrowers at kind of D tier, uh, C tier. Um, I'm maybe edging towards mid tier. I think they're pretty mid. They're pretty average, I'd say. Flamethrowers. I'm happy to put them mid tier. Any other um, adv advances on B tier for flame for the better future flamethrower? Um, Tweakopedia has said, I would like to express an opinion, but I have not used any flamethrowers enough. Fair enough. Fair enough, Tweak. Um, Chip says, not made up. Fire damage is stronger versus rubber. Good. Well, thanks, Chip. Well, that, no, that genuinely appreciate that. That's actually useful. Um, Solence, um, with the insight of the, of the decade, very good at throwing fire, not very good at catching it, thus mid. I can get behind that. That makes perfect sense. Um... Yeah, insightful comment, right? I know my point five, point zero five percent. No, doesn't matter. Uh, fine, I'm gonna. I'm happy with mid tier. Mid tier feels right for the for the better future flamethrower. It does a bit of damage. I think DPS is decent on it, um, but it's just not got enough kind of utility to put it any higher. Which is fine. Like not all weapons need to be S tier. Some weapons have a place. Some weapons are uh, you know fine at being D tier. <laughs> Um, speaking of DTO weapons, the scatter laser, I'm going to put it, I'm going to provisionally put it up here just, whoops, just for the fact that it has enough attach points. It could be a lot worse, but, um, it does have decent attach points for what it is. It's basically just a one by one block without, well, it's basically a one by one block that has a bit more firepower to it. It's a cool animation. I'll give it ex some extra brownie points for the cool animation. I like the way that it pops out and when you stack these against each other they look great so you can kind of do something like this obviously you'd have them pointing in, the, in a different direction maybe we could do that now okay you get you get my point they look cool but kind of beyond that 
don't really do much else. The scatter has a pretty good range, does it? I mean, that's not huge. That's just a glorified shotgun. I think that's my beef with this gun, is it? It's just a glorified shotgun. Um, someone that says, I've only ever used it for circuits and systems enemy detector. Will these kind of weapons be in Terratech worlds? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know the answer to that. I'm not being evasive. I genuinely do not know the answer to if, if corporations, what the, what the situation with corporations is in situation with corporations is in Terratech worlds. Um, fine. Any advances on C tier? Chip says, Matt, if all the shotguns are bad, doesn't that mean they need buffs? Not necessarily, because like I said, most a lot of weapons while not all weapons need to be amazing. Not all weapons need to be balanced, even. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that out there. Not all weapons need to be, you know, then there doesn't need to be a perfect sort of synergy and sort of um <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, yeah, perfect balance. That's that's it um, between all the weapons. Some some weapons are. It's okay for them to be a bit, you know, weaker than others and serve a bit of a lesser purpose because, you know, in in um, campaign in single player in survival mode, you know, you may only have one or two different types of shotgun and that's what you have to go with and that's fine because you sort of adapt around that and you figure out a way to play with that and that's kind of fun, right? Um, if every weapon did, you know, had did loads of damage or had an infinite range or la la la, then it wouldn't be that fun. So I, I think having... This isn't to sort of, you know, dump on weapons and say, oh, that's rubbish. I think we're just, just ranking them because, well, first, it's a bit of fun um, and very not to be taken seriously. But also, you know, just it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Um, but you, you do make a good point. I do think maybe we need to look at balancing shotguns a bit more, maybe buff them with a bit, a bit more damage. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's a fine, it's a, it's, a, it's a balancing act in itself. Trying to, that's why it's called balancing, funnily enough. Hey. Anyway, right, cool. So I'm happy with that. Does anyone else feel strongly that we should move the uh, the scatter laser out of C tier? Um, cool. All right. Well, let's move on then. We can come back to this. Um, the dot laser. I like the dot laser. I'm putting it mid tier um, just because it's a laser, so it's got good range. Um, it, it adds. I think. One thing to bear in mind with Better Future, their whole sort of design ethos when we were designing them was to be form over function a little bit. So we like we wanted them to be these sort of like streamlined kind of. They look great. They're the iPod over. Uh, they're, they're, they're the Mac. They're the Mac versus PC, for lack of a better analogy. Uh, better Future are Mac, and all the other corporations are PC, if that makes sense. So. While the laser, you know, the the, the, the dot laser um, adds a lot of form to your tech. It obviously, you know, you can fit that alongside. You know, you can make it into your into your. Um, you can add it as a, as a little addition to the front of a plane, for example, and in keep your aerodynamic sort of um, foil shape. Um, likewise with wings, that sort of stuff. Um, but in terms of, sort of functionality, it's a bit kind of this bit. You know, it's it's fine. That's it, really. Um, it has nice form factor. Yeah. Chip is saying C for scatter. A, B, C. A, A, B, C. You think it's C tier? So, by, sorry, let's just recap. So, S tier is up here. The red is S tier. I don't know why they color them this way. This is just the way that the tier lists I've seen them done. Um, S tier is red. A, B, C, and D. So, mid would be B tier. This would be C tier. I'm happy with, with mid. I think the... Yeah, the form over function is just something to bear in mind with Better Future when when we're ranking these. Their their functionality may be be sort of slightly less than say the the Hawkeye weapons, um, but I guess that's like kind of why we're ranking them against themselves. So I'm not expecting to see sort of some major shocks in here. Um, better Future Claw Plasma Cutter. This isn't great. Maybe mid. I'm not sure. How do people feel about it? It's it's got a decent uh, rate of fire. It's just, it's a laser. It's a con it's a constant laser. I don't know what the word would be for that. Excuse me. Um, but it's yeah. It's it's uh, claw is ugly, so it's bad. 
Chip says that. Um, <laughs> Pringles on YouTube says, hope they're going to add a corporation that just makes really realistic car parts that don't fit the art style at all. And when you fit them properly, you get a boring car and nothing else. That's kind of funny, actually, because there is a really cool mod. There was a really cool mod um, on the Steam Workshop. I can't remember what it's called. I'm going to try and find it quickly. Um, that literally does exactly that. I wonder if I've still got it. I don't think I have. Let me find it. One second, everybody. It is literally just called like the car mod. And it... it um, It just it gives you each part of a car that you piece together, kind of like literally like Lego, um, and it's really fun. But it does literally it just does that. It's called the Mini Off Road Car Mod. I'm going to link it in YouTube chat. Um, go check that out if you haven't already. It's um, it's such a funny little mod. But yeah, I don't we don't need to do the corporation because someone has already done that for us. Um, sorry, back to the tier list. Tweak says, uh, Claw is at least mid, perhaps more. It's very effective at medium range. I use them often on the underside of my large, excuse me, my large trucks in case any tiny tech zips under. Oh, yeah, I see. I think mid, I think maybe I was being a bit too harsh to begin with. Maybe mid tier is fine. Um, all right, let's move on. The laser rifle, <laughs> AKA the CCTV gun. Oh god, I'm sorry that I'm making such horrible noises, everybody. I'm sorry if you're wearing headphones. It's not very pleasant to listen to. Um, again, very just very mid. Very mid. Um, <laughs> Chip says, uh, I remember when I remember someone on Discord suggested a space junkers cab that's just the front half of a regular cab turned into a cab. <laughs> Yeah, Space Junkers is fun. It's fun designing stuff. I know Taku's having a lot of fun designing some of the new blocks and the art team are having a lot of fun making them because, um, yeah, there's kind of some fun, cool fun stuff we could do with it. Anyway, um, so what, how do we feel about the, uh, the Better Future laser rifle? Maybe A tier? It's pretty decent. Tweaks completely contradicting me. Um, oh, the laser gun thingy laser rifle not super fond of it limited turning a bit slow low power slow speed not my cup of laser <laughs> i'm for chips it chip was fine with a maybe we'll go back to a i think A's fine again bearing in mind we're ranking these against each other we're not ranking them against other weapons just yet <coughs> excuse me um freeze cactus says we finally got a weapon that looks like one yeah it does look like a weapon compared to the others um, and, e and even then, I would say at a stretch, this still looks like a CCTV camera that you'd see in a multi-story car park. <sighs> oh. But I'm happy with A tier. Um, chips, chips fine with A. I'm fine with A. Sorry, sorry, tweak. This is a, this is the consensus. Fine, let's leave it there. Uh, let's move on to the uh, better future assault laser streamlined which is basically a stretched out version of the dot laser. So still got to be mid tier because it's just, it's the same block, but, but stretched. Literally there is no difference. I don't know if it's got any more power. Let me see. Any more damage, sorry. Um, it's grade two, this is grade one, so it's slightly higher. Um, oh, sorry, it literally says in the description, a fast and firing streamlined weapon, a fast firing and powerful streamlined laser weapon. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, so it's like a slightly improved version. Maybe we'll maybe we'll put it in A tier then. Okay, fine. Tweak, yeah, tweak, tweak. You you are correct, Wikipedia. Uh, it is more powerful and has more damage. Well, uh, more range. Sorry, I think you're right. I think it does have more damage. Apparently, Chip is saying same as the laser rifle, just more streamlined. Okay, so they do they sort of do the same sort of thing. Pretty much slightly higher rate of fire. Maybe it does more damage. We're not by the DPS meter, so we can't actually measure how much damage these blocks do. 
But um, I think it's fair to say, yeah. I, it's basically, based on the fact that it's a basic, it's an improved version of of the dot laser, I think it deserves to be an A tier. So we'll leave it there for now. Um, the trapdoor assault laser. I think this one gets slightly higher just because of the design. I like how it looks. I like the iris effect. That is the iris effect, right? With the iris opening and then doing some damage. It's got a slight kind of wind-up mechanic, whereas you notice all the other weapons start firing at the second, at the, at the, as soon as you hit spacebar. This one takes about half a second to, to warm up. Um, quite like that. I'm not quite sure what it, how it does on the damage front. Let me uh, read the description. An assault laser that can be front-mounted and concealed within your tech's hull. Again, kind of feeding into this whole aesthetics thing. It, it, it serves more of an aesthetic purpose um, than it does functionality-wise. So, you know, you've got your, your attach points are around the edge of the where the sort of weapon comes out. Um, so that gives you some, again, that gives you the opportunity to build around things like this, similar to the, um, the whatever this one was called. I keep on forgetting the weapon name, the scatter laser. So you can kind of stack around them and obviously add more blocks around them if you need to. Maybe we can add... Um, something like this. This isn't going to work, is it? No, I'm going to not do that because that's that doesn't work. Um, chip makes a trip. Actually, Chip makes a very good point. We should be ranking them on how good they look. You're right. That actually is a very valid point. Should we do that instead? Nah, because we're kind of we're already in. Um, I guess we still need to rank them as they are, as if they were a weapon. These aren't aesthetic blocks. These are still weapons. They still need to serve the purpose of being a weapon. So it's, a, it's pointless ranking them against other weapons from other corporations because, well, this is embarrassing. I, I think a shotgun, a Hawkeye shotgun would be better than any of these. So that's a hot take. That's a hot take right there. <coughs> so... You're right, but I think we should factor that in. It shouldn't be the defining factor, but we should definitely factor that into how we rank these. Um, is their overall aesthetics? Um, I thought we were ranking them how strong they were. Yeah, I get. There's a few variables here. There's the strength. There's how strong they are. There's also kind of again with with better future specifically. It's kind of how they look, how they fit in with your with your whole tech because that is the kind of part of their design ethos is, is their overall thing. Um, but anyway, I kind of feel like the um, the trapdoor assault laser is okay as 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 a tier i think it kind of yeah does similar things to the other other weapons in that in that category um the better future fs plasma laser a powerful persistent laser uh, beam laser cannon that can fire all around in a 360 circle codenamed i think this is s tier this is my hot take this is s tier weaponry for better future it looks great I think it's very unique in how it looks. And look at how it sits flush. It's, this is obviously against the... Um, I, I, it's, it's laying against other better future blocks. And that kind of... The base of it being sort of smoothed out against that. I think it looks amazing. It's seamless. Um, which again was a big thing for, for better future. Was to have this sort of seamless effect. There's no seams between the blocks. Um, oh no, I've gone. I've gone black. I've gone off. I think the battery's probably run out. One second, everybody. I will be right back with a new battery. Uh, I'm still here, by the way. Because I can still... Oh, no. Oh, God. Dropping batteries. That's definitely not good. Come on, come on, come back to me. We back? <gasps> we're back. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Sorry about that. Don't worry, we've changed. We've up. We've um, <clears throat> we've changed the batteries. Basically, we we're running off an SLR camera, and the uh, the batteries is running off batteries, which is again probably not a good idea. But there's no other thing. There's nothing else we can do. Um, and the batteries went out, so that's why it just turned off. But I'm back now. Um, lovely. Right. <coughs> <coughs> 
Chip says, this is what happens when you... Oh, sorry, that's a good point. Thank you for reminding me, Chip. Um, I'm going to come to close-up because this is close-up worthy. So you may have remembered a few weeks ago, I mentioned that we were going to release a roadmap for TerraTech or you we were working on a roadmap. Um, like I mentioned at the start of the stream, with everything that's going on with TerraTech Worlds, um, we we it's just there's there's other th there's other higher priority stuff for our um, art team to be working on. So that's just a nice way of me saying um, they've not got around to it yet. Yeah, um, but don't worry, it is coming. Um, we just need to um, sort of flesh it out a little bit more, add some cool stuff to it, and uh, and it'll be ready to go. But yeah, we're only a, it's a matter of days. It'll be ready. It, will, it, will, it, will, it is happening. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, a roadmap is coming. Um, so yeah, watch watch this space. Anyway, how do we, how do we feel about the um, the what is it? The FS plasma laser. I'll put it in S tier. I may have been a bit hasty with that. Um, But I like it. I think it's a funky look. I think it's, it's got 360, so you it kind of um, got good range. It's beam. It's a beam laser. That's that's the word I wanted to use earlier. It's a beam laser, so it's constant. It's not like it's pulsing. It's constantly on, so it's doing constant damage. Um, I'm happy with S tier. Um, Tweak says no. I think it is S tier. It does carve into text in a hurry. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Lovely. Right, let's move on. Um, the better feature, Speed Lance Laser. The grade three. The Speed Lance Laser is strong. That's, that's, uh, guys, um, I found an, a spelling mistake. That should read, in the block description, it says, the Speed Lance Laser is strong and versatile weapon. It should say the Speed Lance Laser is a strong and versatile weapon. I think we've, guys, we've, Put, someone put in a bug a bug request. Someone head over to our Discord server and put in a bug request, a uh, bug report. Um, so based on this theme, this should be S tier, right? It doesn't feel like it is though. But it kind of is. I'm actually happy with it being S tier because it looks it looks great, and. What's that from? Oh, it's from the office. Why many word when few word do trick? Oh, Delamort says grammatical error, not spelling. <laughs> this is, you're right. Everybody is correct. Oh God, I'm so sorry if you're dis if you're disgusted by my disgusting noises I'm producing today. Um, you are right. That's a grammatical error. It is not a spelling mistake. Wow. Um, I'll get that fixed. No, I say I'll get it fixed. I'll, I'll, I'll tell someone about it, and then probably nothing will happen. Um, but are we happy with S tier? S tier feels high, but I just for the meme, I like it being that they're rank, they're kind of ranking, they're leveling up like a Pokemon evolution. That's kind of how it feels, anyway. Um, I think everything should probably be shifted down a tier. I think you're probably right, Chip. But we'll do that. We'll come to that at the end. If you feel like there's that everything's ranked, up. maybe you're right. Maybe this comes down. I think this is fine. This is this isn't trashed here. This isn't the bot. This isn't the worst of the worst because it still does something. Or does it? Ah, uh, we'll leave it there. I think you're right. I think we need to move all this down. Whoops. What is it? That feels about a bit better, actually. I'm a bit more happy with that. Um, Gatling laser. This is S tier if ever I've seen one. Look at it. Yeah, I think the Gatling laser is probably S tier. Jimmy Blether says the one block ain't a weapon. What do you mean this one? Do you mean the what is it called? The scatter laser. I would agree. If you mean the scatter laser, Jimmy Blether, I agree with you. Um, Alan Golab says, I've seen the is common, uncommon, rare, and epic is the legendary components too. Ooh, good question. No, there isn't. What do you mean in Terratech? Because there's never been legendary components in Terratech. 
<coughs> what do you mean Terratech world? Um, chip, sorry. Um, <laughs> Someone that says A for the missing A in the description. Fine, yeah, we'll put it in A. Um, no, look at B tier. Uh, B tier is fine. No, well, okay, so no, Terratech, for Terratech 1, there is no such thing as legendary um, resources or weapons or anything like that. It, I think rare is the is the top, is the creme de la creme. Yeah, rarity goes uncommon or common, uncommon, something and then rare. I actually can't remember. Um, you stuck one block in B tier. Did I? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I see. <laughs> oh, how have I done that? What did I mean to put there then? Oh, no. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for pointing that out. Um... Me and Chip, me and Chip screaming about this single item. Thank, thank you guys. So I'm so, so I'm, I had absolutely no idea what you were talking about, but um, that is funny. Okay, fine. Have I, does that mean I've put something in there by accident? How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Right, we're not missing anything. How do we feel about the um the Gatling laser being S tier? Do we go S tier or do we go A tier? Maybe A tier. Maybe we'll, we'll revisit this. Cyber disc plasma laser. S tier. Bearing in mind, it's just a big, it's a bigger version of this, right? With, yeah. People are saying the Gatling is S tier. I'm actually going to put it in, in S tier. Gatling is S tier. Okay, fine. We can put it in S tier. I feel like this is A tier still. I, I, Unless, it, unless people can correct me, the um, disc plasma laser, excuse me, um, is, it's just a bigger version of this, right? It's the plasma laser, the FS plasma laser. It's grade two, a powerful persistent beam. It's a very powerful persistent beam laser cannon that can aim for in a full 360 circle. So yeah, it's just an upgrade of the FS laser. And because it's bigger, probably more expensive, it's a higher rarity as well, I believe. Oh no, they're both rare. Okay. Oh, Tweak saying the two turret lasers must be on different tiers. The larger one is much more powerful. Okay, fine. So do we put the plasma laser up here or do we and or do we leave it there and put the FS laser down here? Tweak is saying S tier, fine. S tier is, if we're happy with that, if we're happy that it's on the same tier as the Gatling, that works. This is looking good. I'm really happy with this. There's absolutely no trash tier, better future weapons, which I'm surprised by. Um, that could change. Class D laser ray. It looks amazing. Look at it. Look at that animation. Does anyone have any hot takes on how it performs it's grade three it's a heavy duty slow firing powerful laser cannon it's also streamlined so it looks nice while it's not being used um as it will fold away maybe a tier people saying a tier is that do we mean that for the laser ray Chip is saying, um, oh, sorry, Jimmy Blether says, I think the D-Class is a bit limited, even if it's DPS is fine. 
You can't really aim. Okay, so maybe not S tier. Maybe we knock it down to A or B tier. Might be B tier. Okay, I'm putting it in B tier for now, Jimmy Blather. You, um, you're, you're taking the lead on this one. It looks great. I think that's like really cool. I get bonus points for having a really cool animation. Um, okay, cool. Everyone is agreeing. B tier. I'm happy to put it in mid tier. It's a mid tier block. B tier. Fine. Now, last but not least, we have the Better Future Arc Missile Pod. Just straight into A tier. Anything missile, I think. Um, firstly, it looks amazing. Look at the the the, the hinge on it. Um, it's, I think it's, I think if I remember correctly, it's got quite a good um, range of fire. It can it can rotate, and it can do that. Whatever that is, gimbal is that a gimbal? No idea. Um, the better future. Let's read what it says. The better future arc missile pod fires a slew of sequenced homing missiles, which rain destruction down on the target from above. It's it's got such a high rate of fire. I think I think it's it's because we don't we, again missiles are homing. All these missiles will be homing missiles, so they'll they'll lock onto targets. Um, it's got quite a wide spread as well, so um, that helps with hitting targets. Um, oh, okay. Tweak says it rotates, does not angle, but the missiles really curve and seek targets. So it kind of negates the whole per the whole point of it needing to um, angle and uh, angle. Um, I think it's still S tier. I think it's still an S tier block. I think missiles just are very strong in Tarot Tech. Um, and there we have it. That's all of the blocks. Oh, gosh. Hang on. Snapshot. Better future. Where? On... Does this feel right? <laughs> Does this feel right? Does it feel right that we don't have any D tier weapons for better future? I'd be tempted to stick this one in just for the hell of it. That feels right, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm sorry if there's any fans out there that really like this scatter laser, but unfortunately... Oh no, because it does. It does provide some utility. Like it's got good. It's 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 got good attach points, but th then it doesn't actually. When you compare it, if you look at the amount of spec blocks, it, this actually takes up two blocks. So if you can see, there's a, it, where the weapon sort of pops out from the top. Um, hang on, can I? How can I do this? Let me. Okay, look. So if you see, if I move this here. Right, you see where I'm pointing? There, this is really hard. The gun pops out on that bit up there. So in in actually in, in actuality, the block, the block itself takes up two block spaces, but it's only got I say only, it's still quite a lot, but it's still got five attach points. Well, actually, this is still quite a lot, which does provide you with a lot of utility. But for the for the its lack of actual overall firepower. I think it's fine. I think it's fine to put in D tier. Fine, we'll do that. Let's take a snapshot so we can update it because we changed it. And uh, there we have it. Better future weapons ranked. Um, guys, we've still got space junkers and reticle research weapons to get through. So we can still stretch this stream out for another two more weeks. Um, actually, let's take a quick, uh, a quick poll in chat. Do you want to continue doing tier lists or shall next or sh next week should we do a community call? How, how do we feel about that? Let me know what you think. More tier lists for benefit for Space Junkers or um, Rescue Research or should we mix it up and do a community call? So community call is where we um, we you submit <laughs> That's not helpful, Somnolence. I need helpful, constructive points. Your wit and funniness is much appreciated. But, um... Okay, no, fine. Sorry. Um... Ignis. Ingus says, Terratech Worlds. I can't stream Terratech Worlds. That's not my remit. Um, tune in on Fridays for some Terratech Worlds live stream content. Um... 
uh, Georgie Georgie says tier lists. Uh, Jimmy Blender says wheel tier list. Well, we'll come on to wheels. Maybe if if there's an appetite for more tier lists after we've done the weapons, we'll come on to to wheels. Um, Chip is saying community core. Okay, I'll have a think. If there's any more takers, let me know. Um, Bone King says I think tier lists are fun. I think tier lists are fun. I've stumbled on. <laughs> kind of fun little content that we've got um chip says we should rank fuel tanks by how easily they blow up our techs when they explode that would be fun and we could have you could you could, you could have some fun little experiments with you build a tech fill it full of the fuel tanks and then just blow them up that's always fun um bone king says i would really love to watch a wheels tier list that is a good idea yeah that would be fun maybe we'll come on to that Oh, Georgie says a mod corp tier list. How many modded corps are there? There's only one that really jump, or two that really ju that jump out is Green Tech. And, uh, oh, what they're called. Oh, I can't remember. All right, I'll have a think. It seem, people seem pretty split between the community core or more tier lists. So I'll have a think and see what we can do. Um, Chip says it's like four or five. I thought they were. Oh, Lemon Kingdom. Thank you, Lemon Kingdom. You're right. How could I forget Lemon Kingdom? That was like the original, the OG modded corp. Maybe I thought of, maybe I thought Lemon Kingdom, but said Green Corp. Maybe that, maybe that's what happened. Um, <laughs> Chip says Old Star, Lemon Kingdom, Green Tech. There's some Japanese themes ones I forget the name of. Lovely, right? <clears throat> We're gonna leave it there, chat. Tune in next week because uh, we will be back. I promise and we're going to be um either we're doing more tier lists or a community call um if it is going to be a community call check out our discord server um i'll post some details in our discord server about uh how you can submit text for next week's community call if we do one if not um it will just be another tier list um and until then thank you so much for stopping by it's been really fun. You've been really awesome. I've been okay. I've been... A, I, if I was to rank myself on a Terra Tech tier list, high B tier, I reckon. But chat, S tier all the way. You guys are the best. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. Apologies again if I've been gross and making gross noises. Um, yeah. Have a great week, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to press the button now and I'm going to leave. Bye.